Thank you for coming. Uh, today I want to announce uh, a significant seizure that occurred on Saturday the 2nd of September at around about 5.30pm at Nundroo on the west coast of South Australia. Located in a vehicle driven by two males was 11 kilograms of crystal methamphetamine, also known as ice. The street value of the crystal methamphetamine is around about $11 million. Nundroo is around about three hours drive from the West Australian border on the eastern side of the border towards Sojourner. As a result of information received from the West Australian Police and the Australian Criminal Intelligence Commission, South Australia Police stopped the vehicle and located the 11 kilograms of drugs in the rear compartment of the vehicle. As a result, two males were arrested. They are a 29-year-old male from Homebush in New South Wales and a 29-year-old male from West Ryde in New South Wales. They have been charged with possessing a large commercial quantity of a controlled drug. The two have appeared before the Elizabeth Magistrate Court via a video link and have been remanded in custody till the 16th of November in the Adelaide Magistrates Court. This seizure is directly linked to Operation Vitreous, which is the tactical arm of the National Methamphetamine Law Enforcement Strategy. I praise the efforts of all agencies involved. This shows that this coast-to-coast -coast operation was able to be done very quickly. We were able to manage it considering the distances and the remoteness of the location of the find. And as a result, we were able to conduct inquiries in New South Wales and also in WA. This seizure highlights the outstanding results that can be achieved as a result of multi-agencies coming together and working together to make the Australian community safe. We are continually monitoring what is occurring on our highways and our transport systems, and we will take further action where we receive positive intelligence. This is an extremely large find, and uh, it is great that the local police from Yalata and Penong were able to locate these two very quickly after being provided the information. Is there any questions? Are there any South Australian connections? Are you investigating um, whether they were working with any South Australian people and where at, this was going? At this time, we do not uh, know if there was any South Australian uh, connection. However, we do believe that it may have been going to the eastern seaboard, uh, but inquiries are still continuing. Have you been able to bust open the network? How far out have you been able to, to look to see who they've been working with? This is still early in the investigation. Uh, we're still making a number of inquiries. Um, it was a fortuitous find um, as a result of intelligence coming through from the ACIC and uh, Western Australian Police. And we're liaising with them regarding uh, the source of where the drugs came from. Do you think that might have been Western Australia where, where it was made? We believe that it uh, emanated from Western Australia. As for the reasons going back east, we're still uh, investigating. So where do you think they were going? We don't know at this point, uh, point in time. However, we believe it was the eastern states that uh, the drugs were being transported to. And that is based on their uh, addresses where they live. Can you tell us about the vehicle stop? How did it unfold? How many officers were involved? As a result of the information from Western Australian Police, which had been provided by the ACIC, uh, police communications uh, liaised with all patrols along the air highway. And as a result, at Nundru, which is basically a, a, a stop, a little traffic stop with uh, fuel, they were able to locate the vehicle and located the two occupants. And on searching the uh, vehicle, they located in the rear compartment uh, the 11 kilograms of crystal methamphetamine. Do you mean the boot, or was there a special? It was an SUV, and uh, it was located in the rear compartment. Um, did you say they've already appeared in court, and do you have the next date? Um, they appeared in court yesterday in, uh, via Sejuna uh, Court, and it was a video link to the Elizabeth uh, Magistrates Court here. They were remanded in custody and will appear in the Adelaide Magistrates Court on the 16th of November. How does this um, find out about the 
finding consensual other drug busts? This is a significant seizure. Um, it certainly shows that we are vigilant in what uh, we can do to make the community safe. We are forever looking at uh, the criminal activities of syndicates that uh, want to deal within drugs and uh, put the community at risk. Uh, this is a significant find. Were the two men arrested and known to police? No, they weren't. What damage do you think drugs like this, this amount of drugs, could have done had they made it to the streets? We're all aware and we've seen the uh, what has occurred as a result of people taking drugs, the effects on the community, on families, on crime. And that taking this amount of drugs out of the system, out of the community, is very uh, a good effect on reducing harm. Were there any weapons found and was, were the arrests um, pretty, smooth, <coughs> pretty smooth? Uh, the arrests were, I understand, very smooth and no weapons were located. How important is it to patrol those roads between all the states, it's a big country, how important is that patrolling? It's extremely important from uh, not only road safety but also in relation to other criminal activity and making sure that people are safe. In respect to uh, the drug activity where people transport drugs, we're aware of that. We do monitor, we uh, look at intelligence and organisations do uh, transfer intelligence between ourselves and we act accordingly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Could you just end just